Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I have a plethora of amazing tomatoes. Garden fresh, beautiful tomatoes. And let me tell you, you get to a point where you wonder, what am I gonna do with all this produce? Well, I have some cherry tomatoes that I sliced and then took the itty bitty core out that ended up being a little tedious, but definitely well worth it. I have a few plum tomatoes, and then I also have just some regular kind of salad tomatoes is what they were called. I'm gonna show you how to take these tomatoes and turn them into sun-dried tomatoes. Now, are we actually gonna dry them in the sun? No, it's Florida, it's too wet and humid here. So I'm gonna do them in the oven, and I wanna show you how this is done, and then we're gonna make an amazing sun-dried tomato pesto with them that is so, so good over pasta or you can just put it into a regular pasta sauce to add another layer of flavor. You guys are going to love, love, love this recipe. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is we, with cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, leave whole or just put a little score in them. With cherry tomatoes, cut them in half and then you'll just wanna take out the core. A little tedious. Now with my plum tomatoes, Mine were pretty big, so I cut them in half, cored them, and then I sliced them to about a half inch. Some plum tomatoes are smaller, so you just have to cut them lengthwise in half and core it, and that should be good to go. Plum tomatoes also work great for this because they don't have a lot of seeds. They're very meaty, and that's what you want when you're cooking and making sauces, is you don't want a lot of seeds. So what I did with the other tomatoes that I had was that I squished the seeds out of them. Those seeds, you know, I feel kind of guilty doing it, but you know, it just makes for a better sauce and makes for a better um, sun-dried tomato if you don't have all that seed in there. So that's what I did with the salad type tomatoes. Do you have to do that? No, you don't. It's gonna take longer though in the oven to dry because of the moisture. There's a lot of moisture in those seeds, so just take that into account. Other thing we gotta take into account is whether or not you have a stove that has a convect. Mine has a convect, which means I have a fan in there blowing air around. So it's gonna affect the time that it's gonna to take to make these. No big deal if you do not have a convection oven, that is fine, it'll just take a little longer. And you wanna get your oven on the lowest setting. For mine under convect, I can only get it to 200. If I'm on the regular bake, I can get it to 150, 175. But I'm going to go with the convect at 200 degrees. Which... So now, all we do is we're gonna put these on a plate. Now, you think, oh, I can't do anything with these. What am I gonna do with sun-dried tomatoes? They're spectacular. You would be surprised all that you can do. You can make, this pesto I'm gonna show you makes a great uh, bruschetta topping. Uh, it is great just seasoning your, um, it's great just seasoning your sauce. It's also good as just, that's what you put on your pasta. I mean, it's tomatoes, why not, you know? So the pesto is gonna have a lot of olive oil. It'll be nice and juicy, so it'll make a great sauce. Oh, this is gonna be spectacular. Now you wanna have a lot of room, let your babies breathe. We want our babies breathing and all, um, you know, not touching as much as possible. If a little bit touches, that's fine. So this is the one I squeezed the tomato out or the, the seeds out of. There's a little more I'm gonna take out. And then I can just kind of lay it flat and that'll just be on there. So I have two trays going. Here's tray number one. We're all ready with that tray. And then tray number two is gonna have my cherry tomatoes. And I'm gonna have those all facing up. And that is step one. We have these beautiful tomatoes that you can preserve from your garden and then use in lots of different ways. So let's put them in the oven and we are going to check those in two hours. Okay, they have been in for three hours at 175. Still lots of juice. I'm upping my temperature and smashing them. They are definitely getting that sun-dried tomato smell. 
It smells really tasty. So we're gonna put them back in the oven. I have it on 225 now on convection. So my automatic convection will take it down to 200. So the point is, is you don't ever wanna do these at a temperature over 250. And the reason, because we are not trying to bake our tomatoes, we are trying to dehydrate them and dry them out. So not over 250. It's the next day. We have our beautiful tomatoes. Mine ended up cooking for about seven hours. Now, one thing I regret, I regret smashing them because all that juice went into my, onto my pan and that was flavor that I took out of my tomato. Now, if I try them, they taste amazing. All that flavor is so compact. This happened to be the one that Remember I showed you the one that um, I took the seeds out of? That was this baby right here. It looks like a piece of jerky, huh? I mean, you could eat it this way as tomato jerky, guys. I think it's delicious. What we're gonna do with this is make a sun-dried tomato pesto. It is gonna be fabulous. So let's get going. We have our food processor here and we are going to put all our tomatoes in the food processor. We're gonna add the olive oil my son did not know that it was not part of dinner. I had these in a bowl, and so he put some on top of his frittata and ate them. So uh, you can do that too. He said they were delicious. Okay, I'm sure I'll add more to that, but we're gonna get an initial chop done. All right, we're gonna pulse this a little bit. Just to start getting them broken up. It smells so good. Now to this, I'm not following some grand recipe. I just had these left over, this garlic left over from my um, dill pickles that I made. And I have this little bit of Parmesan cheese left over and then of course salt and pepper. So this is a little overkill on the garlic to put in there. So maybe we'll just do half and see what happens with that. And then we're gonna put all this, which is probably two or so ounces. And then we're gonna put quite a bit of salt because the salt is what's gonna preserve it and make it last in the fridge. So we'll put two teaspoons. And you think, ooh, that's a lot of salt. It is a lot of salt, but it's not like you're gonna eat this with a spoon. You're gonna be putting this on pasta, which needs to be salted, so now it doesn't. You could put this on bread for bruschetta. So a little extra salt is not gonna kill you. So we are just going to blend this. You can also put in here now some walnuts, some of the pine nuts. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this one, but you're more than welcome to put that in. You'll just need more olive oil to make it juicy. That's it. And while it's going, I'm gonna add more olive oil. good. Ooh la la. Let's look at the consistency of it. I'm gonna get a spoon here. Okay, so here's our consistency. See that? I still have a few chunks that I need to get rid of. Let me just try a little piece here. Great flavor. It is salty, but I did that on purpose. Now you saw, this doesn't make a lot. You need a lot of tomatoes. Or you can just make it, put it in a jar, and add more to it later. So let's just have that go a little bit longer. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking it too. Wow, that was a lot of tomatoes. Tomatoes are a lot of water. So uh, let's just jar this up. This will last in your fridge for quite a few weeks. You can give it away as a gift with a little recipe on it, just to put with some pasta. Oh, it'd be great just with some fried Italian sausage, then put this on it and then put it over the pasta. You can always add more 
olive oil. This is a pretty thick paste in here. So you can add more olive oil. Well, I have enough. This would feed my family of four easily with a big pasta meal. And just have this with some sausage or this alone. Oh, it would be so tasty. Super, super tasty. And there you have it. sun-dried tomatoes that you made in the oven. Thanks so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please watch some of my other episodes, subscribe below, and I'd love to hear from you with a comment and also a thumbs up. Thank you.